What is going on, guys? Welcome back to DS Asylum. I'm your warden, Dimitri Strine, and today I want to offer a moment of silence. We have, uh, I, I, or not we, I, I do this alone. <laughs> I have some very disturbing news for you. If you're not sitting down, you should sit down because this is, this is gonna hurt, okay? Super Saiyans will never be good again. Not the team, mind you, the, the, new, the new units. Su Super Saiyans are screwed. Uh, let me tell you why. Uh, this fucker, th this, this fucker right here. I only have Mazenkai 1 because I despise the Super Saiyan team. I hate it with a burning passion, and there's a reason why I hate it. And, well, okay, if I'm being honest, this, this asshole is the reason why I hate it. It's not even Bardock, it's just Gogeta. I hate Gogeta. He, he one combos my entire team. I, I can't, I can't deal with him. But the problem is Bardock. And Bardock has created an environment where you can't make Super Saiyans that good because you have to build them around being run with Bardock. One of the things that make blue that made blue cooler so good is that he was never a super oppressive unit. I mean, when he first got his Zenkai at Zenkai 7, he was probably the best unit in the game. The problem back then was it cost 21,000 crystals to get a unit to Zenkai 7. So it wasn't that big a problem. Anyone who had him Zenkai at all was only at Zenkai 1. So, Zenkai 1 cooler sure as hell was not the best unit in the game, but Zenkai 7 cooler most definitely was. Um, but the thing about cooler was, they didn't really do that much to him. And the swap out buffs that he gives did not screw over LOE. Lineage of Evil has this weird thing of, they rarely ever get units, but when they do, they're ridiculously broken. For the most part. Purple Cooler, he still has the highest defenses in the entire game, including Zenkai units. Even Zenkais do not have defenses as high as he does at 14 stars. It's ridiculous. And then Red Frieza might be the only unit in the game that is genuinely immune to power creep because his kit is so annoying that no matter how bad he becomes in terms of doing damage, his kit will always, for the rest of the game's existence, make him viable. But Blue Cooler's swap out buffs were not broken enough to warrant nerfing any future Lineage of Evil units. Bardock's most definitely are. Let's just take a look at this, right? Applies following effects to allied tag Super Saiyan when this character is switched to standby. 25% damage inflicted for 20 counts. That's fine. 30% to crit rate for 15 time accounts. It's not too bad. 70% to critical damage inflicted for 15 time accounts. And I want you to keep in mind that that 30% to crit rate, that matters. You, you would think that it, it's not that big a deal. It's pro you're probably not still not going to crit that often. No, you most definitely do. That 30% crit rate, honestly, they should just say, gives you a one in three chance of critting. Because that's essentially what, what you have. Honestly, not even that. You have a 50-50. With every single card you use, you essentially have a 50-50 chance of critting or not. And with 70% critical damage on top of the 25% that he's getting, or that he's giving, that's 95% crit damage. Essentially, like critical hits already boost your attack by, I actually don't know, it's either 1.5 or times two. I don't know which one it is. I've never actually like looked at it, but just judging off of how critical hits work in most other games, it has to be either 1.5 or times two because they're not going to make it times 7 or times 1.25. So, and criticals do way too much damage to be that low. So it, it's either 0.5 or times 2. I want to say it's um, around the 0.5, because realistically, critical hits tend not to do too much by themselves. So I'm leaning to more towards the 0.5. So let's, let's, just, let's just put this into perspective, right? 95% crit damage. That 
is pretty much doubling because any unit that exists is going to have their own damage buffs. So you're guaranteed a minimum, as long as a unit enters the battlefield and has at least 5% damage inflicted, they're going to be doubling their critical damage. So that gives you a times two crit rate. Or not crit rate, but crit damage. But you take a look at units like Super Gogeta, who was the last ever just purely broken uh, Super Saiyan unit. And is a perfect example. Could you? Thank you. Is a perfect example of what to do, right? He gets 50% damage inflicted. So we now have, for Super Gogeta specifically, he has 145% critical damage because of Bardock. That just off that one ability, not to mention the fact he's also getting 20% for each arts card type every time he uses one. And these are uh, upon landing, so let's say you don't crit the first one, but then you crit the second one. That second one has an additional 20%, like just like say a strike card. That's an additional 20%. So that second strike card that you just did is doing 165% critical damage. Not just 165% damage, 165% critical damage, which is outrageously stupid. And Gogeta is a prime example of why they can't make Super Saiyans uh, as good as they need to be. Because when you do make them that good, Bardock breaks them beyond repair. Gogeta is one of the most oppressive units in the game when run with Bardock. I've said this before, and I'll stand by it. Super Gogeta is better than, than uh, Zenkai LF Gohan when he's getting those Bardock crits. If he's not getting the Bardock crits, he's not better. But when he is getting those crits, he is better, or at the very least, out damages Gohan. And you can't do that for every single unit on a team. And because of that, all the Super Saiyan units are just being screwed. The only truly usable one that's like, you know, he, he's he's okay, is this Zenkai Green Broly, who, yeah, I haven't Zenkai, shut up. <laughs> but this Green Broly is actually really good, but he's more of a defensive wall. If he wants to do damage, he needs to be with Bardock. Otherwise, he's just a wall. He's not going to be doing really any damage to you unless he's run with Bardock. And that works for a defense type. Defense types work with Bardock because they're never meant to hit you hard in the first place. So Bardock can substitute, uh, you know, giving them some broken offensive stats you can focus on their defense make them super tanky and then bardock can come in and give them the offense they need that works but when you have offensively based units like like super gogeta you can't do that let's just take a look at some random example of, the, of a unit that might one day get zenkai not not you not you not you this guy right here super saiyan gt goku at one point, one of my favorite units in the game. But I know, I know when they Zenkai him, he's not gonna be that good. Now granted, all he needs is a stat buff. I mean, his main ability is already really good. He gets plus two card draw speed for five counts and plus one for 15. Gets some damage. I mean, like this this Goku is, all, is actually pretty decent. If his, if his stats were higher, he'd still be good. <laughs> but, they're going to nerf him. They're not going to make him as good as they make other Zenkais. And yeah, I understand they've been going this more balanced route with the Zenkai units, but Super Saiyans tend to get the shorter end of the stick when it comes to balance. Because just, just look at the new Gogeta and, uh, or not the new Gogeta, but the transforming Gogeta and Broly. Let's, let's just take a look at Broly, for, for instance. Bring you up the Zenkai 7, right? So we have this, he gets 5% to damage inflicted for 10 timer counts whenever he uses a blast card. By the time he builds up enough damage to actually make use of that ability, Bardock's buffs have already run out. Like, they're already gone. And every single time an enemy uses a strike arts card, he gets 10% strike damage. So, 
If you're the one in control of the match, your crit buffs are going to be gone by the time you start doing any legitimate damage. You'll have a few counts of, you know, really top tier damage. And if you get that crit, oh, it, it's going to do a lot. But if you don't, he's just screwed. You have to switch him out again. And by the time, you, because his buffs only last for 10 counts, it's not like you can just swap him out. You know, bring Bardock back in, wait till you can bring Bro Broly back in, and switch Broly back in. No, because the second Broly comes in, he has no buffs. His buffs last 10 counts, and that's how long you have to wait to swap him in. All of those buffs are gone. He has to start from zero every single time he enters the battlefield. And if these lasted 20 counts, it'd be so much better for him. But they can't let it last 20 counts. Because if they make it last 20 counts, he comes into the battlefield, has all these stupid damage buffs still built up, and still ha and now has Bardock crit buffs. So he just ends up destroying the entire game. Like, Bardock has single-handedly ruined the Super Saiyan tag. Because every Super Saiyan unit will look good with Bardock. But they will not look good without Bardock. He has essentially made sure that no Super Saiyan unit can ever be used on any team except the Super Saiyan team. You have to run any Super Saiyan with Bardock because in order to design a unit around Bardock, they, they, they can't be good. They cannot be that good without him. Now, not to say that Broly and the new transforming Gogeta are awful units. They're not, right? Green Broly, not a bad unit. He's very tanky. Purple Broly, he can build damage, right? He, he's not, he's not a terrible unit. He's kind of tanky as well. The new, the, uh, the transforming Gogeta, he's not a bad unit, but he got the same treatment, that same 5% treatment. Granted, his is just 5% to damage inflicted every time he uses a strike or blast arts. So it's a little bit better. That way you can actually utilize any strike cards in your hand. But like Gogeta still has that same 5% treatment. And I believe his only lasts for 20 counts as well. Let me just, because he's not on the Super Saiyan tag because he doesn't start out as a Super Saiyan. It's, fuck you. <laughs> Let's just take a look. Is it... Yeah, every single time you use the Striker Blast Outs card, restore key by three and plus 5% to blast damage inflicted for 10 timer counts. He doesn't even get pure damage. He only gets blast damage. Goddamn. But yeah, only 10 counts. So the second you swap him out, when Bardock swaps back out, Gogeta comes back in, he starts from zero. And it's just created this environment where you, ha you have to nerf every Super Saiyan unit. Any unit that you can run with Bardock has to have a kit that just does not work at a high level unless you're running him with Bardock. Because Bardock can make it so that those 5% buffs, they don't matter, right? One, you, you use three cards, 15% damage. That's good enough. 15% damage plus the 25%, right? So that's 40% damage right there and then if you're critting it's a hundred percent crit damage 110 percent crit damage so it doesn't take long for you to be able to get really good damage when you're being used with bardock but he just he can't build damage at all when he's not with bardock because he doesn't have that baseline to start with he doesn't have the ability to be doing good damage from the first card because of the 70 percent crit buff on top of the 25 percent damage buff those two together, just by themselves, are 95%. So when doing a crit, you essentially have 95% damage inflicted. They, they, they need that in order to really be a, a dominant force. And it's just, it, it's really sad. It, it's really sad because Super Saiyan is such a cool form. Super Saiyan is such a cool form. And I, I really like the art for this Super Saiyan Goku. This Super Saiyan Goku easily has the best art of all the free Gokus, right? I really like this Goku. But I feel like the reason he is the way he is isn't even because he was free. Because if you look at the green god Goku, that, that green god Goku is literally just what, what would have happened 
had LF Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta been a normal sparking and not an LF? His kit is the fucking same <laughs> outside of his main ability. His main ability is completely different. But he's literally just nerfed LF Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. He's really good. The purple Super Saiyan Blue Goku is decent. Hell, even the yellow Super Saiyan 3 Goku, my favorite of them all, at least for the first 60 counts, is really good. The base form Goku is really good, just unfortunately has no team to go on. The Super Saiyan 2 Goku is complete, complete trash, but I think they just don't like Super Saiyan 2, <laughs> unless it's on Gohan. But this Super Saiyan Goku, he could have been really good. He's got pretty decent stats. He's got this right here, 50% of the damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Here's the issue, right? I mean, he's also got this 70% damage inflicted, restores key by 30, reduced damage received by 20%, 20% damage inflicted cannot be canceled when, uh, or per defeated battle member, like, he gets all these buffs, he's really good, but his defensive stats are horrible, but his offensive stats, for a 13 star unit, almost at 14 stars, essentially 14 star unit, those offensive stats just aren't all that. And the reason why is because of Bardock. He's got, he's got good abilities. If you run this Goku with Bardock, he will perform well. But if you run this Goku without Bardock, he's not going to perform well. He's going to be the weak link of your team. If you run this guy on a fucking Frieza Saga team, since that's the tag he buffs for some stupid ass reason, he's going to be the weak link of your team. Granted, if you run a Frieza Saga team, you're running Zenkai Krillin, Zenkai Namek Goku, Ultra Goku. <laughs> Admittedly, he's he's competing with a bunch of Zenkai units and an Ultra unit. So, I mean, fair. He, he'd probably be the weakest link either way. But the reason his stats are so low is because of Bardock. They don't want his damage multipliers to equate to too high of damage. Because one, he's free. Right? They're not going to give you a broken free unit. They did that once with the red uh, Vegito. And they ain't never going to do that again until he gets zenkai And he, he's a Super Saiyan unit. So on paper, he looks good, but he just doesn't perform well without Bardock. And the same thing goes for any other Super Saiyan in the game. So you all can let me know what you guys think of Super Saiyan units. The only ones that I think will not be screwed over by just having the Super Saiyan tag will be units that were not designed to be run with Bardock to begin with. So like if this transforming god Vegeta ever got a Zenkai, I don't think they would care because his end goal is the god transformation that I actually don't know how to activate. How do I activate your god transformation? Do it. I'm not cutting this out. There we go. <laughs> his end goal is Super Saiyan God. So I don't think they're really going to care because the second you transform, he can't receive any of Bardock's buffs anyway. So I don't think they're going to care too much about him. Um, another one will probably be Kale. I don't think they're going to give a shit about making Kale good because she's a defense type. They're going to worry more about her defensive prowess, meaning she'll be a perfect partner for Bardock. I feel like the, the only units that won't, that won't be screwed over will be defense types. Because defense types are, were never meant to do damage to begin with. So they create perfect partners for Bardock. They can be tanky and Bardock can give them the damage. That is what, that, that's, that's what they can go for with defense types. But there's only but so many defensive Super Saiyans. In fact, I think that was all of them. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not kidding. I, I actually think that was all of the defensive type Super Saiyans. I mean, Green Broly, yes. And this guy exists too, but... Are you really going to run him on Super Saiyans? His support buffs don't affect anyone but him on that team. You could do it, but... He was an anniversary unit. He was always going to be treated well. Was Bardock Zenkai even out then? I have no idea. Uh, it, it's been an entire year, my guy. I don't think it was. But... And, and obviously, Ultra Goku wasn't screwed because it's a brand new rarity. They, they want you to get excited for it. Obviously, Ultra Goku was not screwed over. Ultra Goku is amazing. But I feel like any future Ultra units 
that are Super Saiyans might not get uh, treated as well as Ultra Goku simply because they don't want you just destroying the game with Bardock. Bardock crit buffs. But yeah, you all can tell me what you guys think of the whole Bardock situation in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video and agreed with anything I said, do make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that join button if you can, it really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below, and I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Oh, my God, my outro takes a lot out of me. God, I really need a shorter outro. I can't breathe after I do that damn thing. <laughs> Peace.